Welcome Scorpio, we're going to be doing some predictions for you today and big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that are regular followers, do love your support and rockin' awesome that you're all here today. And if you do enjoy my readings, make sure to subscribe to my channel, show the love, hit the like button and the notification bell so you get notified when your star sign reading is up on my channel. And there is a competition running again this month, so if you want to go into the draw to win a one hour pre-recorded personal reading with me, I meditate on your energy, check your Akashic record, your past life information, answer your most burning questions with the tarot and the oracle. Simple to enter. All you have to do is pop a comment down below this video that you want to enter that draw. I'll be drawing a random winner at the end of the month and announcing it on my channel and also checking you're subscribed. And big congrats to our May winner, uh, who was Jamie Beverly. And Jamie has claimed her prize, so congrats, Jamie. Now, if you do want to get a personal reading from me, they are open. I'll put that booking link on here and down below. And a very quick promo happening this month. You can get between 40 to 50% off my Masterclass membership. So if you join for a month, you'll get the first month 50% off. For those of you uh, joining for the annual membership, you'll get 40% off the entire year. Valid only this offer until the end of June. And if you don't know what the Masterclasses are, there's a lot of self-help personal development masterclasses. Most of them go for about an hour long, so a big library of masterclasses, which will be continually added to each month. Uh, there's also ebooks that go with them as well. So grab your coupon codes for those and all the links and information you need to know is on here and down below. Let's dive in. So first up, Scorpio, pulling you an opening energy from the uh, wisdom of the hidden realms, Oracle. Oh, this is very beautiful. You've pulled the Swan Queen, all about transformation. She's got beautiful soft energy around her. Let's pull you up the guidance. You ready? It says Scorpio. The Swan Queen glides your way and asks you to look at the reflection of the events in your life. She gives you the ability to see the beauty that has transformed your life from ignorance to wisdom. The Swan Queen lets you know that it's time to go within and seek answers in your own intuition. Don't look outside yourself for answers now. The true power lies reflected in the still waters within you. Now is the moment to meditate and ask for a vision. The power of psychic perception is inherent in you and the Swan Queen will help you dive deep into your query to find the answers you seek. It's a reminder to allow time to transform ideas into reality. Nothing happens overnight. And often when we're seeking an answer, we kind of got to sit in that beautiful silence. And, you know, you can ask a question and then sit there silently and be very quiet within self and just wait for the answers to come to you. Sometimes it'll come to you in your dream state when you often when you're just kind of waking up or it might wake you from your sleep. Uh, often the ideas that I have come to me uh, when I'm coming out of like a sleep in the morning, like my mind's probably working through all the knots in terms of ideas and creative things overnight because that's how my brain works, darling. Yeah. And I wake up with a new idea in the morning. I'm like, oh, I love that. Fab, let's do that today. Uh-huh. I don't know about you. don't know if that happens for you. All right. Let's have a look at what's coming towards you. Okay, you've got the five of earth. So some of you are worrying about money, possibly experiencing some financial constraints right now. There is an angel holding her head, Archangel Sandalfin. Lots of coin around him. Let's have a look at the challenge. Okay, you've got the two of fire. So the challenge position for you is partnering up with others, not doing everything on your own. Uh, working on it. I mean, he's holding the world in his hand. So the world represents expansion, growth, travel. This is at the base of the situation, which is the sun coming out. This beautiful positive shift, I'm going to say, in your own emotional waters, but also in the energy around you, which is your plans working out perfectly. You know, a bit of victory going on here. So let's have a look at the recent past. In the recent past, you've done a lot to create balance within self, which is so beautiful. Let's have a look at the present. Mm, you got the four of air. So doing your meditative practices, doing those things around self-care going to be super important for you right now. And balance all your chakras. And you've got the page of cups, which is your cup overflowing with love, darlings. Yes. 
Just wanting to offer that cup of love, full cup of love to someone. Someone's offering their cup to you. All right, let's have a look in the near future. Oh, I love this. You've got the king of fire. Hello, confident, motivated, disciplined. Public speaking, stepping into the spotlight, taking on a leadership role. All right, let's have a look at your energy. Oh, you got the 10 of earth. So creating generational wealth for you and your family. So for some of you receiving an inheritance. And you've also got the six of cups or the six of water, which is someone trying to return to the past. You possibly looking backwards at the past. Let's have a look at the energy of those around you. Okay, you got the night of air. So it's going to be a lot of things coming really fast, darling. Could be some information that comes in really fast, fast events. Oh, hello. Hello, Scorpio. You got the lovers. True love, embracing true love, allowing true love in. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Might suddenly appear out of nowhere. Bang, there it is. Oh, my God. Scorpio. Oh, you got the two of cups. Mutual love offering. There's committed partnership. There's a home in the background. Little uh, angel representing Cupid's arrows above them. Okay, you've also got the three of air, which is a time of great sadness. So there's a contrasting energy here. So possibly some kind of loss going on, unrelated to this relationship. So there may be someone physically leaving your world. Mm, you've got the high priestess energy. So doing your spiritual practices, staying in your high priestess energy. Let's have a look at the outcome. Clear guidance. Okay, in the outcome position, you've got the five of cups, which is focusing on the negative. Watch that. Because if you do that, you're going to block everything that wants to come to you. Mm. So when we have negative situations that happen, we've kind of got to look at it and either just let go and go, okay, well, that happened. There's nothing I can do about it, particularly if it's a loss of some kind of someone physically from your world or if it's things that have happened that didn't turn out how you wanted to. Well, you can look for some kind of meaning in it that's going to help you grow, but don't focus on, you don't get stuck in the negative emotions of it, yeah? Yeah, Spirit's saying you to trust your intuition on what that is. Trust your intuition on what to do. You got the two of air. Some of you are refusing to budge or see things in a different way. Procrastinating, stalemate. Mm -hmm. So you need to shift your perspective on something. Or you're in a stalemate with someone else. That's not comfortable. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Muse Tarot. Let's have a look in the centre here where some of you are experiencing financial constraints or worrying about it and Spirit's saying look for opportunities to partner with others. Oh, you've got the four of emotions. Some of you are definitely focusing on the negative when it comes to money, right? Go lift your head, lift your head. Mm, Spirit's saying... In order to get out of that funk, darling, it's just focus on your ideas and your creativity. Mm -hmm. I'll link in a little video I did. It's like seven minutes long about why is my abundance not here yet. It's going to show you directly and explain to you how you can block your energy by getting in these states and how to shift it. Yeah, So go and watch it after this. All right, this is flying out. Oh, Spirit's saying believe in how talented you are. You can do anything. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. Let's have a look at the present moment where there's a need to balance and rest self and uh, love coming in or offering your cup of love. Oh, here we go. Deception, worrying about sly foxes, worrying about deception. Not sure if that's real or imagined. Any guidance on that? Oh, you're going to have a tower moment. Why? Okay, it's going to be in relation to your energy and which cups you're filling. So if you focus on things that have been deceptive in the past or worrying about deception, you're going to have a tower moment which is going to basically ask you to look at things in a different way and refocus and reprioritize your energy and your emotions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Let's have a look at your energy where Spirit's saying there's an inheritance coming in or generational wealth and either someone coming back from the past or you looking backwards. Mm, you got the awakening. Spirit's saying to look at it in a different way, darling. Yeah. Sometimes we can give a context to a situation and it not be balanced based on our view of the world. So ask yourself, am I seeing something in a, in a balanced way or have I bringing hurt and all sorts of things into that situation that are clouding my judgment around it? Be worth exploring. Again, you pulled the world. Put the world at your feet, right? Time of expansion and growth and there's definitely love coming in. Rushing in, darling. Yes. Oh, let's have a look at the lovers here. Oh, Spirit's saying you're the magician. So it's up to you. Where do you want to focus your time and energy? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look in your hopes position, hopes and fears position, where there's a two of cups, time of sadness, and you staying in your high priest or high priestess energy. You've got the night of inspiration. So this is rising above any challenges and moving yourself forward, particularly on anything you want to work on. Oh, here it is. You're going through death and rebirth. Some of you, it's in relation to your relationships, looking at self. Yeah, it's going to give you a new perspective on things. Ace of emotions. You've been asked to look at things in a different way. Let's have a look at the outcome. We're focusing on the negative. Spirit saying trust your intuition, a bit of a stalemate going on or not seeing things in a certain way. Okay, you've got the four of materials, which is she's hugging everything close to her, holding on to her material wealth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, why are you holding on to it so tightly though? Oh, because you feel like you're going to lose it or... Some scarcity consciousness going on there. Mm, again, Spirit saying you've got to rise and elevate yourself. See things in the light of the truth, the night of voices. What's going on there, Spirit? Any other guidance? Okay. You got the seven of materials and the two of materials. So the seven of materials is saying things are in progress. And the two of materials is saying that you're juggling a lot and you're doing a lot of hard work and perhaps you're not seeing results. And you're second guessing yourself, worrying that it's not going to come in. You're holding on to it every penny you've got right now, afraid to spend it. Mm hmm Yeah. So that's coming from a place of lack when we're holding on that tightly, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta loosen that up a little bit around your energy. Some of it's sitting in your heart chakra. Let's pull you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Oh, it's taking a long time. Here we go. Oh, you are going to find an ideal course of action. Have a look at that. It's so beautiful. You are going to find the clarity that you seek. Because she's very peaceful, right? So you're going to get into a peaceful state. Oh, <laughs> I'm always scared to show this to you. Scorpio, are we listening? <laughs> Time to shift your energy. I'm saying that as gently as I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Gently as I can. Oh, and as I say that, Spirit's saying, be gentle with yourself and stop telling yourself off and knocking yourself around. And for God's sake, Scorpio, be kind to yourself right now. Uh -huh. Oh, let's have a look at your abundance flows. <laughs> Maybe you put yourself under way too much pressure. Oh, you got a message about the power of prayer, which is, you know, asking for what you want. Mm -hmm. um, it can also be in terms of asking for answers that you seek. Oh, there's a razor or a promotion coming. Hello. Truly deserved based on your hard work. It's going to bring an increase of abundance into your life. And Spirit's saying any obstacles and blockages are going to be lifted out of your path. So a clear path forward. 
in your eye. Let's pull you some guidance from the Pegasus Oracle. What is it that Scorpio needs to know right now? Hmm. It's kind of beautiful. It's really going to help you, which is Pegasus and the Great Mountain. Why do I feel, darling, it's like you feel like you've been climbing up the biggest mountain ever? You never get to the top. Well, this is going to give you the answers. All right. <laughs> yes. Oh, sometimes we can do, be doing that and then suddenly we're there. We're like, oh, that was a lot of effort. Now I can see on the top and look at the sunset, depending on how long it took you to get from the bottom to the top. You ready? It says, there are times one must claim a sanctuary, a sacred place within to reconnect to the values of the soul, to reorganize priorities and clear out that which is no longer necessary to the heart, to be able to receive the gifts of the light, such as blessings that wish to enter your world, one needs to have capacity to receive. Otherwise, it's trying, like trying to eat a feast without a mouth, create some spaciousness within. Step away from concerns that trouble you and enter this peaceful inner place where you can connect to the universal divine light within. In that space, all that's needed shall be given. Comfort, grace, clarity, healing, insight and more. And sometimes hard work is necessary for healing. At other times, we simply need to rest and let go, allowing spirit to realign us. You have the free will to hold on to your troubles or to offer them up to a higher power that loves you unconditionally and knows how to resolve any concern. The spiritual gift is being offered to you and your soul knows how to receive it. Allow yourself to feel worthy of grace, knowing that as you thrive, you increase your capacity to embody light, thus bringing spiritual benefit to all beings. Open your mind to a whole, happier, healthier you. An inspired idea or piece of spiritual guidance will lead you from trouble to triumph. Rest you shall receive. Oh, darling, she could take a step back. Mm -hmm. Step back and breathe. Yes, darling. All right. You have my permission to step back and breathe. <laughs> Give yourself permission. All right, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how this reading resonated for you. Make sure to enter the competition, darlings. Don't forget, uh, do reach out if you need a personal reading at this time, extra guidance and support. Link is on here and down below. Grab those coupon codes if you want to get those uh, discounts this month uh, off the Masterclass memberships. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.